Alright, good morning. It is finally door and window day. It's been a while. I've been living with this for a while, but I'm excited and I know a lot of you guys have had questions about just dealing with doors. Think about the amount of times that you open and close a door or roll up and down a window, especially in a Scout. Kind of like modern cars, it seems like you don't really roll down the windows very often, at least for me, the, the climate control systems and whatever. But on a Scout, it's that's something we do on the daily. So I'm gonna show you kind of what's going on with the Scout. We're gonna do doors, windows. I gotta fix a couple door latches. So it's gonna be a whole big day. Thanks for joining. Let's get going. Okay, so to start on the driver's side, I'm just going to lubricate this latch. Actually, if you look at, I don't know if you can see that. I'll show you in a second. Um, but this is as much as the window rolls down. Very difficult. And it only rolls, rolls down to about that point. And the felts are bad, so I'll show you that. It's hard to see, but the felts are pretty much gone. Kind of cool, I like these original style ones, but, but we'll, they do, this window rattles really bad. Kind of goes like this the whole time, so we'll try to fix that as well. Passenger side is more simple. I've actually already gone through this one, so the window works really well. I ended up like welding the corner of this window and, and redid the regulator. I didn't replace it, I just lubricated it and cleaned it. But unfortunately, this handle doesn't work, so some of you guys may know what that's like. And this is one of the most annoying things ever. The lock rod spring is broken, so it just falls right down. Let's go lay out the parts that we're gonna need. Okay, so before we start, we're gonna need a couple parts. I got, here's some, and these are all available on the website, but I got some felts. These are some track liners, like the inner track, which is, it sits kind of like down in here and at the back. So we're gonna see, um, I don't know if I have any spray adhesive to install that, so we might have to run to the parts store. These are some of the lock rod clips. I know I'm gonna need these for the passenger side. These are door panel screw grommets. My advice is just have a couple of those things prepared before you do your doors. These are regulator clips. These are lock rod springs that those springs control this. So obviously it's fine on this side. And then some tools, you just need a basic number two Phillips, a number three Phillips, um, some Allen's or hex wrenches and it's pretty straightforward so let's get going we're gonna start taking this door panel all right and i'm sorry if you can hear that that's very annoying it's been going for like the last 45 minutes some car janky car with alarm it's going off all right so this part's pretty straightforward and uh, kind of fun we'll start your hex this looks like it's uh I don't know, I don't know what size it is. I've never taken, the, the passenger side I've taken apart, the driver side I've never taken apart, so who knows what we'll find in here. Got this little plastic. We sell these, I think, too. And like another little annoying thing, I can't find my number three screwdriver. So none of this stuff is like real tight. It shouldn't be super tight, so a number two is going to have to do. Hmm. 
interesting. So someone's obviously been in here because this is a, someone put a flathead screw on the armrest, so. Should be a number three Phillips, but that's, that's quintessentially the scout life, right? That's why scouts are so special, because everyone rigged them, man. People just love rigging scouts. If you look real close, it's hard to see, but there's a crack right there. I think probably like 70% of all these chrome in interior door handles have a crack in them. I guess we're just gonna live with it. Next, we'll do the speaker. Quality stereo sound. I love these old speaker grills. I am gonna put, I have an original AM FM IH cassette deck that I'm gonna put in here. That'll be another episode. Um, and I'm gonna put, you know, like probably more modern speakers, but I'll definitely use these retro 70s Craig grills. Love these original door panels too. So we'll clean those up while we're at it. So what I'm gonna try to do is not take this, cause I don't really need to take, well, I kind of need to get this latch out in order to get, and I wanna rebuild this. So yeah, never mind, take it back. So let's take, I'm gonna take the regulator out. Um, but let's get, so next we're gonna take the, the window out and then we'll start taking and we're kind of getting in deep here, but we'll start trying to take the, maybe the wing window out, maybe this back track out, cause I am trying to fix the rattle as well. We'll see how it goes, we'll just keep digging in. To get the window out, you need to remove these two little screws and then this piece slides out. Okay, so next we're gonna roll down the window. And if you look in here, there's these little round clips that we're gonna have to get out. Sometimes if you push in on the regulator and kind of create a little space. Need a crusty old clip. We have new ones, but there's no sense, no point in not reusing the old ones. But if you feel, there's like a, you gotta just feel around. It's like a way that you can orient the clip to get it out easier. We'll click the window out of the regulator feet, the little dogs. And hopefully we just lift straight up, being careful. Sometimes it kind of gets stuck on the... There we go. Now, one big question I have is this has obviously like window tint on it. I'm typically not a fan of window tint. So we'll have to see. 
but it is kind of nice a little bit. Keeps the sun out of my precious interior. So we'll see. But we'll, uh, in our process, we'll clean and lube. See how that's rusty and dry? So we'll clean all that and, and the, the grease kind of be becomes crusty and hard. Um, so. Now, if you see this plastic piece, we're gonna clean this and lube it. We do sell new ones of these, but we are out of stock on them due to supply chain shortages. So I'm just gonna have to live with it. And that's, that's another thing of the Scout life. It's like, you don't always maybe forget one little part or something happens. Okay. Now let's get, let's try to take this back track out. Now the bad news is I can't find my uh, WD-40 or any kind of croil or any kind of like penetrant. So I'm gonna have to give these a go and hope that they're cool. I am going to For the interior door stuff, I've been using just a 12 volt, but I'm gonna step up. Okay, one good. Okay, two good. I'm gonna have to go buy some or find my trusty WD-40. Cause I'm gonna need it for. So we got the track loose that runs up and down. Before I unscrew the, the door latch, I need to take the lock rod off. And then it's hard to see, but right there, there's a latch that, that runs across to the interior door handle. So we don't need to take that off. And it is a good time to inspect it. It's not broken. Everything's fine on it. So I'll just lube it up. Okay. That shot, this shot took me like three minutes to set up. Cause check this out. I just, I, I've been trying to get like little rig job filming equipment so that I can make these videos better. So I bought this cool little light. I'll show you in a separate. So these clips. Sorry for the shadow, but there you go. So I popped that clip out. This is gonna come Been in there, man, for 50 years. Well, 1975, 47 years. I gotta find, I'm gonna go try to find some WD-40. Okay, so we pop that out. This one. the lock rod is just okay so now the lock rod is lock rod is popped out keep that handy door latch okay we should be able to take the door latch out now so we got the track out just something to note, you see how worn out the felt liner is on that. So we're gonna replace that, I'm pretty stoked about that. And next up, we're gonna try to rip, take out, we're not gonna take the, the lock rod, I actually do have to take that out. 
So I'll show you to take that out. Kind of a pain. One thing I've been, uh, I think about, um, here, let's just take a quick walk. Divert the scene. So I'm doing some work on a friend's uh, YZ125. And I know Scouts pretty well, but I don't know YZ125s very well. And I've been working on it with my son, but what's interesting, he's 16, he hasn't met Owen, is it's actually, even though he's a YouTube generation kid, like he doesn't really watch TV shows. Um, he doesn't really like watching how-to videos. So that's interesting. So I've been watching a lot of videos on the YZ125. But he doesn't really, he'd rather watch me and do it with me than watch a video and do it. Have you guys experienced anything like that with your teenage kids? I'm not sure. It's kind of weird to me because I use YouTube for, for a lot of stuff. I'm going to take this protective edging off. We basically just got to grab this. And my guys that like are doing this every day, I don't do this stuff every day. I've done it a hundred times, but I just, it's been a couple of years, you know? You lose like the little tips and tricks. I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna try again. So I went inside the door and actually pushed on it just a little bit. And that made all the difference. So that clip is gonna pull out like this. And then you're gonna wiggle. Then you just kind of wiggle the door lock maybe very gently it's probably the first time this has ever been out i don't want to damage the paint Okay, so that pulls out, and then this pulls out. And then we'll keep those, I'll lube all this stuff up so it'll go together a little bit easier. There you go, one lock rod. And now lastly, we can remove the door latch. This door actually closes pretty well. So as of this, I just don't want to break anything or make anything worse. So I'll just be real careful. So it helped to actually... Oh, it's locked. All right, let's get this on the bench. I'll reset up the camera and let's clean and lube this. And then I'm gonna weld this, make that tight again. Okay, exciting. So here's the door latch. Again, things we wanna be checking for is the spring. That is for the lock. That's working well. It's generally rusty. You also wanna look at these little steps or dogs, if you will. 
there's a little bit of wear on that. Not enough that I think I'm gonna worry about it. The door wasn't popping open or doing anything funky, but it's definitely got some wear on it. But I'm gonna let that pass. So what I'm gonna do is throw a little bit of weld on this to tighten it up. And then just lube it up real well. And we'll reinstall this uh, with new clips. So I'll just put a couple tacks on it, now it's tight. But I'm gonna also cool it down because I don't want the spring to get hot. On for this portion, I should have got some better. WD-40 is like generally pretty good at most things. Um, it's not the best penetrant, not the best lubricant, but it doesn't smell terrible. So I'm just gonna kinda generously lube this thing up. Take this paintbrush, $2 paintbrush, and just kind of like get everything. Man, if it was by the time, I'd probably like let this soak for a couple days. This would be cool. Then I'm going to take our favorite Super Lube synthetic grease. Get it in all the wear points. I think I'm gonna try doing the same technique. Make the slurry, dude. Just like Luke on his burgers. He likes the ketchup, mustard, mayo, slurry. Then what I'm gonna do, give it a test. She's happy, man. She hasn't been that lubed up in a while. Okay, I think we're ready. I'm gonna kinda lube these screws up. If it's lubed, it ain't rusting. So I would say, man, this is probably like every two to three year, two years maybe. Who's gonna do that? But at least kinda get back in there and lube things up. We're gonna lube up our clip. Just gonna coat it. Trust me, dude, we'll be happy. Everything's gonna be happy after this. Okay, next up we're gonna tackle this track and this inner felt. So I have this inner felt. I don't know if this is available on the website but it's gonna set in there. It's gonna make a huge difference. Um, I'm guessing a challenging aspect of this is going to be just getting this old felt out. Oh, no problem. This is one of those projects that I recommend I mean, I'm, I'm kind of feeling rushed right now. 
But this is like a perfect Sunday afternoon. Like, don't rush. Got the kids' help with some projects on this, but. This is just scraping out pretty easy. Okay, clean and shiny. And again, this is the kind of stuff that we do in all of our restoration jobs. Even I think our drivability conversion jobs. I don't know, what do I mean? Okay, so here's our felt. I'm gonna trim it. About right here. What I'm gonna do is spray, spray adhesive here, spray adhesive here, fold it, tuck it, do my best. Uh, again, it's been a while since I've done this, but. All right, this stuff, it's not critical, but it does make me nervous. I feel like M&M a little bit, like I only got one shot. Make sure I get all sides of that. It says let it sit for one minute. So we'll fast forward this section. Minute. It's been a minute, yo. Press it into the corner first. And we're going to press into the opposite corner. The technique seemed to work pretty well. Again, I'm focusing on the inside corners.
Okay. It looks pretty good to me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to put, I think I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna start working on the felts. We'll do the felts. So now our parts are good. Latch is good. Rear track is good. Lock cylinder, good. Lock rod, good. I'm gonna, let's do the felts next. And then we'll do the regulator. And then we'll start putting everything back together. I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit, a little secret that we've learned on these spells. So, there's been a couple iterations throughout time of window felts. This is a new version that's come out in the last eight months or so, maybe a year, from Lightline. It's what mostly, most all the Lightline dealers are gonna carry these felts. I don't like them very much. The old ones were better. Um, but I'm gonna show you a technique we've learned that helped them install and stay in much better. And that is two-sided tape. So let's prep a set of felts and then we'll work on getting the old ones out. So essentially, <clears throat> excuse me, you have about this much, you know, about a four or five inch section. It doesn't have to be crazy. And what I'm going to do is actually just cut this in half. You could just buy 3 eighths or half inch felt. We're going to stick it like that and just kind of go throughout the whole run two sided tape in between all of the clips we'll do that all the way down all the felts I got these felts all prepped out with the two sided tape that's cool now we need to get these felts out of here what you don't want to do is just start prying on them up like from up here sorry just don't start prying up here. You'll damage the door and you'll bend the door. So what we're gonna do is actually go from the inside. So, sorry. Stick our hand up in here and try to press the clips out. Okay, so there was rust forming on this top edge of the door behind the felt. So I prepped it, taped it. This is our favorite rust preventative product, Rust Bullet. We'll put two coats, give it a couple hours. So this video will take place over a couple hours. Um, then we'll come back, pop the felt. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get this regulator out and we'll start cleaning up that regulator. So I'm gonna try to avoid taking the wing window out because it's kind of a pain and I don't really want to. So to get the regulator out, we're gonna have to take these four screws out and then loosen and just kind of loosen the track and I think we'll be able to weasel the regulator out uh, from inside there.
So I got the track bolts loosened up. Now we're gonna take these bolts out. And you gotta be careful with these regulators because they are spring loaded. So I ended up having to kind of like look down in here to angle this just right. And the regulator doesn't look bad. It's a little, she's a little loose, but we'll grease her up and uh, put her right back in. Okay, but I haven't done that in a while. You just watched fast forwarded. Um, definitely think there's a better technique. Positioning the crank in the right, like definitely when you get the regulator going back in, I guess there's two things I would either say, A, like take the spring tension out of it and like strap it or tape it. So it's not like going crazy or and I'm sure like you scout guys that have done this I just it's been a couple years since I've done it so um, but anyway got the regulator back in it's feeling pretty good um, so I'm stoked about that now we're gonna put um, boy I'm gonna put the latch I'm, I'm buying time to let the rust bullet dry so I'm gonna put the felts I'm gonna wait on the felts. I'm gonna put the door latch, get the latches and the strikers and all that stuff done. And then, uh, then we'll put the felts in, and then we'll put the window back in. 
getting close. I had this rod taped up here just because I didn't want it dangling down. So now I can release that. This, I'm gonna put this one in for, this goes in from the back side. And we do, like these clips are broken on the other one, but that I think they're decent on this. Okay, so that's functional. Okay, so now what I want to do is do a test. I'm going to latch the door, two firm clicks, exterior handle. All right, door latch is working. Cool, so next let's uh, throw the Oh, let's throw our interior track back on. So it's been a little bit of time. Now we're gonna put the felts in. Um, so I, I kind of rushed through it, but I put that rust bullet on and it's had time to dry. And that, that's the time, man. It's like, I guess you could have put some grease on it, but when you're doing little projects like this, take the time, because you're not going to be motivated to go back. I know I'm not motivated to go back through and do it again. So think about those little rust, like there was just basically rust bubbles forming in between the felt and the door. So got those treated. I'm gonna go get a, a razor blade and take this tape off and we'll pop these in, put the window in it. It'll go pretty fast, pretty straightforward. The little flat part goes on the top. We're just gonna put it in place. I put the tape on there, obviously. I'm just gonna squeeze it in place. Kiss those rattling windows goodbye. Not the greatest fit.
All right, so I, I didn't lubricate these little slide parts because I didn't want to get it over the felt. So now I'm going to lubricate those. Just the whole thing. This is that same synthetic grease. All right. And I find a smaller, like, flathead screwdriver works great. And we're just going to pop the arms out a little bit. I'm going to raise the window regulators a little bit. Pop those in. And you want to like spring the clip when you get when you feel the clip slide in then you you want to like pop the regulator back off so it kind of engages so this is spring loaded right here so you push it in engage the clip then seat it back out and check it out did it feels a hundred times better and solves my primary problem of not being able to roll down the window all the way. So, so super stoked. So, let's set up a little bit. All right, let's put our plastic back on. Put our plastic back on, cover this. I'm probably, while I'm at it, gonna spray some WD-40 down the bottom of the door. Um, I probably should clean it and rust bullet it, but I just don't really have the bandwidth to do that right now. So I'm gonna put a little bit of slurry grease down in there. And then um, put our plastic on, clean up our door panel, wrap this whole side up. This is weird, but what I've learned from 20 years of looking at scouts is when there are greasy scouts, they're not rusty. When they're dry, they tend to be rusty. So I'm just going out on a little bit of limb, going. A little bit of third world action. Just got some wheel bearing grease. I'm just gonna kind of smear it in the bottom of this door a little bit. Make sure your water drain holes are clear. Yeah, like the high mileage, kind of rusty old scout, I mean not rusty, greasy old scouts tend to be at least the areas where the grease is saturated, they're not rusty, so. I'm gonna take that to practice a little bit and just. Okay, so also I noticed this one was slightly stripped out. So I'm gonna pull this one out and just replace it with a new one.
That's the technique. Bam. So two-handed technique. Screwdriver, Phillips. This is awesome. Okay. I think literally we've got to put the armrest back on. One little uh, fun tip or trick. It's not always fun, but like this armrest is kind of wasted. It's like collapsed. I may try this really quick. Is if I can get the rear one off, because like what rear passengers ever really use the armrest? Not really many. So I'm gonna actually go try that real quick. I'm gonna try to pull this out of the inside and swap it out. See what happens. Good news, dude, it works. Right, look at that one, firm. So that's awesome, clean it off. Love that. I wish I had a Phillips to get rid of that stupid flathead, but I don't. Okay, everything works out, man. You just gotta fight, fight some things sometimes. Perfect. Okay. The moment of truth. Dude, I forgot to put something in. Oh no. I forgot to put this lock cylinder in. What an idiot. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you. I'm gonna try to do it. Worst case scenario, I gotta take this back off. That would stink. I've done it a bunch of times. I'm gonna see what I can do. See if I can just put it in this way blind. Some of you scout people that have done it, you know it's possible, it's difficult. But anyway, driver's side's done. This took me about three hours. So uh, I'm gonna get onto the passenger side. I'm not sure I'm gonna film that because it's all the same stuff. All right, thank you so much for watching another episode of The Scout Life. We did it. We did felts, repaired and lubed up the latch. We lubed up and kind of cleaned up the regulator, redid the, the felt inside the, with the rear track. Um, windows feel great. Do a hundred times less rattling. Still a little bit of rattle from this front, better. But uh, someday I just didn't have the inventory to fix it. Window rolls all the way down, protected against some rust. Door closes fantastic. So don't be afraid to tackle it. If you have questions or if you need parts, hit us up at Anything Scout. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll give up a Saturday, grab one of your kids. My kid's at school right now. But, uh, and tackle the doors and windows. I'm gonna go do the passenger side and I'll report back when it's done. Thanks for watching. Next time, I think we'll be doing an alternator. We have one of our high amp, 140 amp alternators and bypass wire. I think we'll tackle that next. Until then, be well.
quick addendum. I just wanted to show you that I'm um, finishing the job. I fixed the door latch, and actually what happened on the door latch was the spring just popped out, so I kind of bent it, put it back in, did felt, um, fixed the door latch handle, lock rod. So doors are set, rattle free, kind of. Roll, roll up smooth, roll down, butter. Anyway, I also want to say thank you so much for watching and supporting what we do. It's a great thing to do this both professionally and I would be doing it as a hobby anyway. So, so it's all good, man. I hope this encourages you guys to get out there and keep your scouts on the road. And lastly,